It's not classic road racing, but this part of Daytona's Bike Week race program is just as exciting and probably more fun. Combine the quarter-mile dirt track at Daytona's Memorial Stadium, 250cc bikes, and 200 riders hungry for a total purse of $4,800 distributed over the two nights of racing, and you've got nothing but action. A rider can't even make hamburger money unless he qualifies. The competition is fierce. Every seat is filled. The fans love it. One of the crowd's favorites is Englishman Barry Briggs. Briggs is qualified and is ready to go in his heat race. Briggs' unusual style was a big hit at the Yamaha Silver Cup in Madison Square Garden. It's just as popular here. Barry puts his 250cc Yamaha into a full lock slide through the turns. If Briggs is in front of you, it looks like you've got to go all the way to Jacksonville to pass him. Briggs takes the checker, followed by Mike Kidd and Keith Mashburn. The likable Englishman is back for the first semi. Ken Roberts, number 80Y, a youngster from Redwood City, California, challenges Briggs for the lead. For six laps, the two riders stay neck and neck. Neither one ahead by more than a bike length at any time. Finally, Briggs loses it slightly in turn two, and Robert slips by on the inside. Little Kid hangs on to win it, followed by Briggs and Dave Sell. Gary Scott, number 64R, and Rex Bochamp, number 34E, are favored in the second semi. California rider Gary Scott breaks out front at the start. Bochamp is second. Bochamp trails Scott for most of the race and finally slips by to take the checker with Scott right behind him. The stage is set for the final. The hot shoes for this one are Bochamp, number 34E, Gary Scott, number 64R, and everybody's favorite, number 7T, Barry Briggs. Bochamp, Roberts, and Scott jump to the front in that order. Where's Barry Briggs? There he is, trailing the field with engine problems. Roberts and Scott go round and round until the last lap. Then Gary Scott takes second from Ken Roberts and it's all over. It's a big pay night for Rex Bochamp, the expert from Michigan. For Barry Briggs, it's a sad finish to a great performance. But in this case, there is a tomorrow. Another night of racing and a chance for Briggs to get it all back. No, it's not a mud bath. It's Daytona Memorial Stadium's dirt track after a two-hour thunderstorm. It's Saturday night, the last night of the short track program for experts and juniors. And with $2,400 left in the prize money, everybody's going hard. The mud is flying, and so are the tearaway face shields. And so are the bikes and riders. The first heat race features Barry Briggs, back for a shot at the money. Ed Sally, number 62D, a junior rider from Dalton, Georgia, breaks to the front. Briggs right behind him. With the track in this condition, passing is difficult. Briggs just can't seem to pass Sally. It looks like tonight, front runners are going to be winners.
And that's it. Sally sails home the winner. Briggs is second. Mike Kidd is third. Ed Sally goes on to win his semi. And Briggs must finish high in the second semi to meet the Georgia youngster again in the final. Briggs gets left behind at the start, but Gainley hangs in there. Coming into turn four, Briggs banks his Yamaha like an airplane and smokes off one rider on the outside. By the time he gets to the back straight, he's got the lead. That's riding. From there on, it's no sweat. Briggs motors home the winner. Ronnie Hall, number 30, is second. Kenny is third. Ed Sally and Barry Gerald, number 29L, are the choices to knock off Briggs in the final. After a little bumping, the race settles down with Sally in front. Gerald is second. Mike Kidd is third. Where's Barry Briggs? Looks like a sick engine again. Briggs is out of it for the second straight night. Sally, Gerald, and Kidd hold a parade around the quarter-mile track. And that's the way it's going to be. Ed Sally wins, followed by Barry Gerald and Mike Kidd. It's a big night for Ed. The biggest win to date for the junior rider from Georgia. And his cheering section really whoops it up. But hold on, there's more racing to come. A trophy dash that should be a dream race. Ed Sally, winner of tonight's feature, Alan Kenyon, Yamaha Silver Cup winner, and the so close yet so far Englishman, Barry Briggs. Sally breaks in front momentarily, but Briggs slides by and takes the lead. like no one will catch Barry this time. His bike is running perfectly. That's the trophy dash. Briggs, Sally, and Kenyon. Victory must taste very sweet to battling Barry Briggs. It's been a great two-night program of racing. The crowd goes home happy, knowing that the best is yet to come. <laughs>